For health services union members, this has been a long and sorry story. Now those at the centre of damning allegations have been named publicly. The report alleges federal MP Craig Thompson used his HSU credit card on prostitutes. Mr Thompson used his credit cards to spend the amounts totalling $5,793 on the procurement of escort services. The report's author also says... A reasonable person in Mr Thompson's position as National Secretary would not have used his credit cards to make those payments. It's also alleged Mr Thompson spent $71,000 of HSU funds directly on his election campaign for the seat of Dobell. In addition, about $200,000 was spent employing staff engaged wholly or partly in his federal campaign. And it alleges he spent more than $70,000 on dining or entertainment and made other substantial cash withdrawals. Mr Thompson has always maintained he's done nothing wrong. I will defend my position in relation to these issues. Uh, the most important investigations are those police investigations, some of which are concluded, some of which haven't, and uh, we will continue to uh, see those through. And I'm clear at the end, sure at the end of the day that my name will be cleared. This Fair Work Australia report is absolutely damning and on the basis of this report, Ms Gillard surely can no longer accept Craig Thompson's vote on the floor well, of the Craig House. Thompson. As difficult as it might be for some people to accept, Mr Thompson should be afforded the same right to defend himself as anyone else. The report found 181 breaches of HSU rules and 105 of those could incur civil penalties. The General Manager of Fair Work Australia, Bernadette O'Neill, has instructed solicitors to initiate proceedings in the federal court. Whilst it doesn't look like the Commonwealth Director of Pos uh, Public Prosecution will pursue criminal charges, certainly the matter has been referred to the Federal Court for Civil Prosecution, and each of those civil penalties potentially carries up to a $2,200 fine. Uh, there's 105 of them uh, that uh, carry a civil penalty, so potentially there's over $200,000 worth of fines involved in this. FWA's General Manager Bernadette O'Neill also criticised the HSU's failure to have adequate policies governing the use of credit cards. The bulk of the report focuses on Craig Thompson, but it also outlines a breach of union rules by HSU suspended General Secretary Michael Williamson and National Secretary Cathy Jackson. I'm totally outraged in the uh, contraventions against me. In 2007, um, Craig Thompson left the national office. A report, uh, the financial reports had not been put in. I then attempted to put those reports in, but not under my signature, because I could not sign off on them, because we'd found allegations of corruption in our union. So therefore, I wrote to Fair Work Australia seeking their advice about how to handle this issue, and I followed their advice, I followed other professionals' advice, including the auditors and the union solicitors, and for them to come out now and say that I um, didn't put the reporting in time when I actually followed their process is totally outrageous and scandalous on their part. The government says it will now strengthen laws governing unions to make them more accountable. We are committed to greater financial transparency. We are committed to disclosure of remuneration. We are certainly committed to ensuring that where individuals are found to have breached the trust of their members, that our penalties should be increased. Eight months ago, when these allegations were taken to the police, there was not, there was no word from him. There was no word from the ACTU or the, or the broader union movement. That was just everyone ran for cover. And now that we're at the pointy end of this um, dispute, or if you want, for a better word, um, they're all coming out saying now they're going to regulate. But why didn't they have this view eight months ago? Rank and file HSU members have had enough. What's happened recently is, is quite shocking and, and upsetting. And a lot of my colleagues feel the same. They're just, they're just so um, upset. I said we're a bit naive and got a bit shocked about it. I thought, oh gosh, but, you know, um, we, we are. We're really, really upset and, uh, and a bit cross about it too. Amy Bainbridge, Late Nine.